I woke up excited because today is day six, and day six is Brazilian Funk Day! Now, if you know anything about me, you know I love Brazilian funk music. One of my recent releases was a Brazilian funk track. I even got a Brazilian dance teacher, Nanda Teixeira, to teach me some moves. Well, more or less successfully. Today was also the first international collaborative episode of the 15 days because today I was writing with my Brazilian friends and songwriters Maria Marini and Edison Guerra who are currently in Brazil. I met them both a year and a half ago when the world was less messed up and I went to the carnival in Rio. Brazil is four hours ahead, so I woke up at 7 a.m., did my morning routine, which was trying to make breakfast with one hand, and then started producing a Brazilian funk track. Brazilian funk rhythm is basically da 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 with a snare while the kick goes boom, boom. I mean, you get it, right? I did a rough draft and sent it over to Maria. She responded asking me to add some of that Rio beatbox feel to it. So I did what any self-respecting producer does. Instead of making my own beatbox loop, I downloaded one from the internet. Hold up, does that remind me of anything? Mm -mm. Go! So they used that loop in the song, but slowed it down. Cool. Well, now that Anita used that loop, I of course could not, so I set out making my own. Here is what I ended up with. I sent it off to Maria and Edison to write to while I started writing lyrics on my end. I wanted the track to be about this party that welcomes girls of all shapes and ages. Maria laid down her vocals, I laid down mine, and the track was done. We celebrated for five minutes over FaceTime. For the video, I mean, this is honestly super big budget because only big budget videos have footage from two different countries. Here it is. Always hold your head up high. Yeah. Then go show me where your ass at. Shake it loose, get the back. 